Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 110. We're recording this meeting like we always do for those people that are unable to be with us right here, right now. Let's go jump right into the agenda. Uh, we're going to do triage, and then we're going to talk about the Wix 4 UI and NetFX version to make sure that we're all on the same page since there has been lots of discussion in the GitHub pull request as well as on the mailing list. I think we're on the same page, but this will be a great time for us to ensure that. And then, like always, we'll do questions and comments. So, first things first, uh, we actually skipped the week, so we're three weeks later. So, let's go look at what we have in the triage bucket. Seven. Mm, that's not bad, right? Yeah? Not for three weeks. Not for three weeks. It's not too bad. All right, here we go. Um, Wix VS Project ignores generate specific output MS build property. Uh, yeah, we don't handle this at all. I was wondering if this might be, I think this is probably automatically working in Wix 4. Because we're using but, the common targets more? Yeah, because that's where this lives. I see. Is Ah, that's where it lives. So we'd have to re-implement in Wix 3. All right, cool. If someone wanted to do the work to re-implement in Wix 3, they could do that. Uh, we'll leave that. Incorrect link in Wix documentation. Okay going to assume that this page points to a broken link, probably. Anybody want to look at that? I'm going a different direction right now than working on the web. Any takers? No? All right, let's toss it in the web. Oh, I see. No, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a markdown link that didn't get resolved for some reason. Oh, all right. Uh, you mind taking it and just poking at it? Uh, a little bit, but okay. You mind a little bit. Got it. Pre-built events are run before all references are built when using TFS build server. Interesting. Yeah. I see for a log file. Uh, run before the pre-built. Okay. Well, I'd say we take this open until the next meeting, and if we don't get a log, then we shut yeah. it down. Sure. I mean, yeah, it's possible that our pre-builds run at that point, and some may want them in a different place, which they could talk about doing in potentially in four, but probably not in three. But without um, more detail? Yeah, and with more detail, it would be good. Um, cool. This is a 4.0 bug in somewhere in the build process. I'll take this and figure out why our 4.0 feed is missing sizes. Um, it's deal. just the old ones. Ah, well, I'll go poke at it and make sure it's all right. Um, support for 462, this guy's making progress on it, and there's a pull request to go look at. Um, and I know there's some discussion on that, so we'll let that keep growing. But yay, success. So we could take this in 311, I think, given the way it's rolling. Yep. Um, enhance utility extension user element to add a comment. Okay, uh, that could go in 3x. I expect it's additive. And let's just toss it in 4. We wouldn't take a feature in 3, right? Yeah, this is not, not a low-priority okay. feature. Yep. And then this operator case, what, search inside case insensitive, is that what that is? Or No, or not equal case insensitive. Case insensitive? Yeah, okay. Yep. It's the other way around. They go the other way, yeah, yeah. And oh, it looks like Bob's kind of track down to a bug where if we have empty strings. Yeah. Um yeah, the it, it's it's a little it's a little odd. Um basically the you know we do a little bit of coercion uh but with a with, with a null string we don't. Yeah, and this is kind of a what does null string mean in our world? Does it mean empty or does it mean null? Um and what happens there. So Yeah. But but the like I said in the comment, there's an explicit you know uh, inequality check that does not uh, follow the the case insensitive type. So probably I think it should. Yeah, you know, for that case, case insensitive null should probably be treated like an empty string. I think that's going to be most logical. Well, right now neither of them are treated as empty strings. Oh, neither one do? No. 
No. So if you compare against null, it doesn't re a non case insensitive compare doesn't work either. The normal. Um, I didn't test that. Oh, right. But the the case, you know, the the logic goes through. Am I comparing two strings? Am I comparing a string and a, and a number? Blah blah blah. And if we we don't we don't support comparisons against a variant of type none, and that's where it dies. All right, so they'd have to do a not or something like that, basically. Yeah. Well, it, is null or empty kind of thing. Yeah, and you see you see this a lot, you know, where where someone has multiple searches, one to say that the key exists, and then the second or value exists, and then the actual value, so that you can have an expression that says, you know, value exists and it's not equal to something. Um, yeah. I agree that you know we should. A, a null or empty string, whichever way we want to treat it, should should you know work as you might reasonably expect, um, and then you could avoid having the extra uh, the extra re registry search. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, is this a four thing then? Being a breaking change and all. Uh, that's my concern. Yeah, I think we we should right, take should it. Should go in four. We're we're not doing crazy stuff in three, so let's put it in four. Yep. And I think that's everything. Not bad. Not bad. So it's nice to see someone step up and do the .NET Framework 4.6.2. That makes it go much smoother. For example, if this comment guy was like, "Oh, I'll step up and do it," then he could have his stuff move in progress like the 4.6.2 will. But otherwise, we're just going to push it on the backlog. And leave it there until someone steps up and does it, probably. So That's the backlog. Uh, as is the backlog. All right, cool. Moving on. I notice Phil is here. He's been running this pull request 209, which has been awesome, super duper, at making all the changes that we, that honestly, that Sean went through and marked off, um, things like that. So uh, the big discussion that Sean mentioned, trying to pull out a separate pull request, I'm not sure we need to vote for that more heavily if he wanted to. But I, I think where we've landed is that the code in Wix should generally target .NET Framework 4.0 so that we support Visual Studio 2010 without installing another .NET Framework, aka if you, since you have VS 2010, you probably have the .NET Framework 4 already on the machine. Um, therefore, we wouldn't have to install .NET Framework because we'll happily use that 4.0 framework. There are a couple places where we use 4.5 code, but that's because it's specifically designed to run in or five code, some of them as build tasks. Um, otherwise, if you are installing on a machine that does not have the .NET framework, perhaps a build machine or something that probably doesn't have Visual Studio on it either, it's probably an edge case, but in those cases that we actually do need to install a .NET framework, we should install a supported framework. And after much discussion, I think we landed that we should just go with 4.5.2 because we don't need what's in 4.6. 4.6 starts bringing in more dependencies, and 4.5.2 is uh, very reasonable for the set of things we need. Plus, it's well, it, it wouldn't matter. So it's it generally works. Does that sound like the correct summary of uh, the situation at large? Sean, did I get that right? Yeah, that sounds right. So I think this is what Phil has coded. Well, so so a question that came in came to my mind during this discussion, based on something Sean said, was, um, say we're installing on a machine with .NET 4.0, um, the BA will successfully load, but then it will install 4.5.2 if that's what we put in the chain. Uh, um, Phil has a check in the planning to disable that to skip it. Okay, but it's specifically something the BA does. It is in the BA, so he didn't have to rewrite the condition on the .NET Framework. I'm sure this okay. is what he's typing. Okay, I'm, I'm I guess, plus zero on that. I, I'm not a fan of you know, moving that kind of logic into the BA, except that right now it's a little so, unpleasant. So Phil's saying modify that the, I've got it wrong. Maybe. Or he's just being very contrarian. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. 
So I have the pull request here, and if I look at the files changed, skipping on the, I thought it was close to top. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is it. If we're able to run RBA, we don't want to install the .NET Framework package since the framework element is already good enough, and it puts the request state to none. So that ensures that during the normal installation, 4.5.2 would not get installed if um, um, the appropriate framework is on it. Oh, and it has the added that, yeah, it, and feels also correct, it also prevents the Dynamic Framework from being repaired as well, which is probably something we should do generally. Um, yeah, well, we have plenty of bugs open on that. Uh, it, it's, it's showing a weakness in in how the package group for .NET in general, .NET framework redistributables are in general not great because they're not very flexible. The repair um, is one example for sure. Yeah, we could we could put. I mean, the only thing that comes to mind that we could do is bind paths that allow you to put AND and OR clauses onto it. Well, uh, I did that. Oh. You have done that for the install condition? Yeah. Or the, ah. That's there. So that's okay. that's doable. It's ugly. I mean, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. It's ugly. I don't like it. But um, at the moment, it's the only approach that, you know, we have. So. Yeah. Um, well, that would do that. All right. Well, so I'm I'm inclined that we continue to roll forward. We could take this change. I think it would be an interesting change if we wanted to switch to declarative mode um, from here. Well, right. sorry, this is fine. Uh, the install condition we can we can fix. The repair right. condition we cannot because there is no repair condition, um, which is one of the bugs that I opened about uh, months ago. Um, right. We, we well, can't I think not specify that. And I, 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 this is good good behavior. Yeah, yeah. It, so there's that, um, and I think in four we should just remove the repair command line on Don Framework. I'm pretty much okay with that because I just don't. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, what we were doing was you know very correct, but not what really what you want to be doing. Yeah. So. I'm good with that. All right. All right. Cool. So, um, how about we toss another issue on the top of the list that says, you know, remove the repair conditions from 4.0.NET Frameworks, so that if anybody wonders, you know, they can go and find that that we did that. Um, all right. So I think that's that's that then. Is there anything else in here, Sean, that you wanted to discuss about this particular change? Yeah, I'm asking the same thing Phil is asking now. I think that one was actually the only thing I was really yeah. had a question about. Right. All right, cool. So I think this will look good. Thank you, Phil. This has been awesome. Also generated a lot of good discussion, which is always kind of fun to see as well. Um, and we'll get a build out. We'll get this in, and then get a build out this week of four, so we can start seeing the new installer. And maybe I'll try to slip the uh, the feed fix in, so we can start getting those builds rolling. Um, and on that note, maybe so we haven't done the change I've noted in Wix four to um, use the Wix three build numbering scheme yet. It's still using the old original. Um, versioning scheme, which doesn't allow us to do the extra dot releases uh, or maintenance releases. Um, so since the feed is broken right now, which is the hardest place where we to get this to for where you'll see the version, I'm thinking we should probably hit our breaking build change now, so that people have to uninstall the old version this one time, you know, whatever version they have of four before they can install this new version of four. Sound like a good idea? Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. Just pull the trigger on that change. 
and get it going. All right. Other things people want to talk about. Anything else going on out there? Phil's typing. It's quiet. Yeah, that makes sense, Phil. That does make sense of doing that. Yep. All right. Well, this is perfect. I will be able to make my 10 o'clock meeting without issues. Um, I think we've had not bad for three weeks, but we'll get back to our usual two-week thing, assuming I don't get buried and work and things like that again. But uh, thank you for being all flexible and everything. And um, I think that's all I have. So we'll have some you know, cute new UI things to look at in Wix 4, which I will be exciting. I wonder how long before anybody really notices. Um, or if they'll just be like, ah, it's a very nice, clean UI, and that will generate no <laughs> no comments at all. Um, we'll see. Um, all right, well, until two weeks from now, I guess, you guys take it easy, and uh, keep on coding. Later. See ya. Bye.